Hey, what's up? So I've received some questions on how to find the base of a parallelogram. And it's a little bit tricky because sometimes parallelograms can be positioned differently. Sometimes you might hear things like, oh, any side can be the base and you don't know what that means. So I'm gonna break it down for you today. Um, I've got this parallelogram right here. Now, in this position, this parallelogram is pretty easy, right? You look at it and you say, okay, where's the base? Usually the base is like the bottom of something. So you see that, you know, like this is the bottom of the shape. This is probably the base. And if I count the squares here, I know it's a little hard for you to see, but I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. You might say to yourself, okay, the base is six. And you'd be sort of correct, yeah. The base is six, but think about this. What if I turn the shape and it's still the same shape, I'm just, all I'm doing is repositioning it. What if I took this shape and turned it like that? Now which side is the base? Well, this one you might say, because it's the bottom now, right? Now the important thing here is yes, you're correct. Either side could be the base. Any outside length of the parallelogram can be the base. However, based on which base you're choosing, your height changes. Okay, think about this. If this is the bottom of the parallelogram, right, and I wanted to find the height, this is the bottom, I want to find the height, would I measure this slide length? No, because the height is an up and down measurement. As we learned, the height is always perpendicular to the base. Now I have this really special ruler here, which does like provide you with a perpendicular edge. So if we put this part of it on the base and then measured up from there, that's seven inches. That's the height. So this is our base and this is our height, seven inches. Now, if we switch back to our original base where we had that six unit line on the bottom, we have to make sure that we're measuring the height perpendicular to the base again. So the height is going to be different. Look at that. So I put the base on this part of the ruler. And now the height is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches. So if you're calculating the area of a parallelogram, you can choose any outside length of the parallelogram to be the base, but you have to make certain that the height you're measuring is perpendicular to the base. One more note. The base and the height are always perpendicular, right? But that also means you can measure the height outside of the parallelogram. This is tricky, but here's what I mean. You'll see it in a second. As of now, I've been measuring the height inside the parallelogram, right? So this is like a line that's inside the parallelogram. But if I went this way and See, this part of the ruler is still along the same line as the base. If I went this way and I measured the height, that's still eight inches. That's still the same height. So really what we're measuring is the distance from this base, this long line, to the top of the parallelogram, the highest part of it. If you can imagine, let's say, well, I'll give you an example. Say I have this parallelogram, right? And I put it like this, right? So that um, this side right here is vertical. And I said to you, that side is the base. I'm choosing that side to be the base. I don't care what you think. I know it's weird. I want this side to be the base. How would you measure the height? Now you're still thinking maybe, okay, height is up and down. So I'm gonna go like this, uh, height is 10 inches. Well, no, I just said that's the base. That can't be the height, right? And will you go inside and say, well, you know, I'll count from here to here and the height is nine inches. No, 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 remember, height is perpendicular to base. So what you're gonna do, this will be the base and your height is gonna be measured, whoopsies, perpendicular. That's seven inches. It's as if Spider-Man were walking up a wall, right? So he were like, you know, walking up a wall, so it was up a skyscraper somewhere and you ask, okay, what's your height, Spider-Man? Are you now gonna measure him just like from here to here, just his shoulder? No, you're gonna still measure his entire height because his base is the bottom of his feet and they're sticking to a wall, so they're vertical, but his height is still the entire length of his body. So this one is kind of like a wall walking 
parallelogram, right? This is like a Spider-Man parallelogram where like he's walking on a building, his feet are down here, so his height is gonna go this way. It's a little bit tricky, but I know you guys got it. The essential thing to remember is height is always perpendicular to base. Base is always one of the sides of the parallelogram. You can choose any one you like, but make sure you're drawing the height perpendicular to the base. All right, see you tomorrow.